learners today in this video we are going to see how we are going to install and how you can use spider for python so let's start so first google spider or google spider python anything else you will find this page called uh, spider.ideally so i'll type here spider so spider hyphen ide Dot org. This is the uh, website we need. So in this, when you scroll down, you will see this icon saying download for Windows. So uh, if you are working with other operating system, you can download accordingly. So I'm downloading this for Windows. If you download this package, you will be asked to go through a series of steps and then you will be done with by Spider will be installed. You will not go through any severe steps or changes during configurations, but it takes a few minutes of time to install. So we are in the uh, Spider platform here. So one main difference between other platforms and Spider is that you can see this variable explorer uh, here and plots right here and files which you are using right here. So let's start with the very basic. I'll tell you what this uh, variable explorer is. You can go ahead and type your files here. If you wanted to go for a new file, you can go here, file new file. Whereas now I'm just gonna stay in the temp file itself. So I'm just gonna use x equal to 10, y equal to 20, t e equal to x plus y and print. Yeah, okay. So to execute some stuff in Python, all you have to do is control enter or shift enter, anything will work. To execute, you will have to do shift plus enter. So place any line uh, cursor in any lines of code and just press uh, shift enter, you will be able to uh, shift enter or control enter, you will be able to see the results in here. So this console window is where you will be seeing the results every time you compute. So this uh, run cell is the first time I computed the result. This is the second time I computed the result. Let's say I'm adding this x comma y comma z and I'm computing this again. So you can see this is the third time I'm running this and it says in three, I'm getting the run cell, the output is 10, 20 and 30. So this is what happens with the console. Every time you run, you will get a separate result for that. And this variable explorer, let us, let's talk about this. So this variable explorer keeps track of all the variables you have been using so far and I'm using X, Y, and Z in my program. So in that program, I have used three uh, variables, x, y, and z, with the value 10, 20, and 10, 20 uh, added values is given z. And all of this is an integer type, and it takes size one. All of this can be tracked using variable explorer. So uh, your program might be any length. You might have the program of variable length. Everything will be tracked in here. So all the variables in your program, including their type and size and the value that is stored within, all of them will be stored in here. So let me run this again. The output will not change, but see here, ABC is added to this, which is of float type and all of them are having the value of 10.66. This is variable explorer. <laughs> and let's go into this plot. I'm just gonna say from import math plot lib by plot as yes. <coughs> Oh, 
supported by Dan News. That's my new views this year. Okay, done. So as you can see here, we have a separate area where you can view all the plots. So if there are a bunch of plots in here, you will be seeing a bunch of uh, plots down there as well. Let me say B. I'm going to add a bunch of stuff in here. It's just too much. Okay. That is B. So we have a few in here and all of them will be displayed over here. It will be easier for you to visualize what this is. So the first A plot is this one. And the second B plot is this one. Every time you execute, there is this graphs will be keep on adding in here. So as you can see now, there is five graphs. The graphs will be keep on adding on the side. So you will be keeping track of your progress as well as if you want to. And if you are working with huge number of files, you can uh, see those files in here and you can make your computations as uh, simple as possible with these files. So this is what the, the spider is all about. You will be having a separate console and you will be having a separate window for plots. You will be having separate window for variables and uh, what are all the types it belongs to and keeping track of size of the variables as well. As you can see here, I have rewritten A and B and the size of this is 11 and 15 right now and the type is this dot. So this is easy when you are uh, developing a software or something, you will have to keep track of the sizes and the type of variable you are using. So that is where Spider is really helpful when you work with huge applications where you have a lot of variables. So you can be easily uh, doing all of those with Spider. So thank you. We'll see in the next video.